Welcome back. I'm Alfred Lamont Weber, and today we have the extraordinary privilege coming to us from Moscow and from Poland and other parts of the world, uh, Dr. Irene Caesar, who is the developer and sole owner of Wave Genome and the Quantum Leap Technology, as well as the group of Mind Tech Enterprises, who you've met uh, with uh, Magnus Olsen, Malin Nimro, uh, Mohammed, and Martin Herneberg. Welcome all. Yeah. Yes. Um, could you uh, describe what is called what you call the digital pharmacy? Digital pharmacy is the collection of the digitized biohologram for every essential bodily organ and physiological system in your body. And it is a, of great value because um, you can have uh, lasers or some other equipment fit to record uh, bioholograms, but it requires decades of research to actually collect uh, the properly functional uh, digitized biohologram. If you to test them, to go through clinical trials, and then uh, to get them um, certified and licensed. So they are fully certified and licensed by the Ministry of Health in Russia. So Americans uh, got their helium neon uh, stabilized lasers from um, two researchers um, in 2002 in Toronto, Canada. But Americans never got um, the library of the digitized bioholograms, so they're behind of Russia for decades of research. And the Institute for National Security uh, privatized the technology in 2000. And before that, it was a state technology, top, top secret um, technology, and uh, in the West, it is still uh, top secret and still classified, and in Russia, it was declassified in 2008. And um, uh, this uh, um, library of uh, digitized bioholograms uh, was created by the largest institute in Russia <laughs> in this field um, uh, called uh, Scientific Research Institute Energy with 5,000 scientists created in 1937 with a limited resources. And uh, this library of uh, digitized bioholograms uh, are not uh, frequencies, you see? They are not, these are not frequencies. Um, this is the library of the holographic signals, holograms, or you might call them um, granulated uh, signals. So every sigma, segment, uh, segment of this um, holographic uh, signal for every bodily organ is not a frequency. It is a hologram containing uh, the infinite number of frequencies, particles, waves, um, and fields um, as a specific refraction mechanism for any external signal. And it is uh, the technology not available anywhere else. And uh, the West, Western science, um, and uh, attempts of creating uh, bioelectronic drugs are far behind in comparison with this technology. Google launched uh, their uh, search, uh, their research and development program for bioelectronic drugs um, approximately six months ago. And I am selling bioelectronic drugs for already six years. And uh, they were available uh, in this institute and other institutes in Russia because it was the collective research in Soviet Union for decades, you see? So this technology is a completely different technology that is uh, not available right now in the West. And um, the most um, uh, horrible, I would say, uh, fact is that the paradigm, the scientific and technological paradigm of the West um, at the moment is in denial of uh, quantum leap. So, um, as I said, uh, uh, global artificial intellect, nanobots as um, computers of molecular size, BCI brain computer interface, even liquid crystal 
Brain Chips of DARPA, announced in uh, 2014, in August. Uh, all these technologies, uh, tele synthetic uh, telepathy, voice to skull, these technologies are, first of all, of Russian origin. And secondly, they are obsolete technologies. So Russians abandoned these technologies. And so when uh, Donald um, Cook, this uh, ship uh, was downed by Russians in 2014, uh, this was a striking example that, uh, unfortunately, uh, right now, Western science uh, is um, used by uh, military industrial complex simply for laundering money, you see, and <laughs> getting, um, you know, CEO failed, you see. So it's not uh, moving in a proper direction. So I, you know, uh, would encourage Americans, and uh, I'm an American, you see, I have dual citizenship. So I'm an American, Wave Genome is an American company, you see. <laughs> so, and I encourage Americans uh, simply to make this uh, leap, you see, quantum leap, to over, overstep these um, limitations and the, um, the, mon the monkey business, you see, the monkey business of hatred and uh, woman brain. Right. Now, could you describe what the quantum bio internet is? I have uh, created the, pro uh, the project of uh, quantum by internet, um, which I called OM, in uh, 2013. And I represented the project um, in May um, of 2013 in London for Andrew Shralambos, who is a prior of uh, Byzantine Templar. Uh, it's his invitation in London. And uh, the project was created by uh, other scientists. Um, um, Inna Yakovleva from Krasnoyarsk, uh, Russia. And uh, the essence of this um, uh, project uh, was to actually commercially um, apply uh, the technology of remote um, management of biosystems via the laser signal at the distance. And this was done by a few groups um, in the uh, Soviet Union and Russia. And, and Hube Group was one of these uh, groups. Um, and before I actually offered you this project, uh, they were applying locally recorded um, D, uh, DVDs. So they used DVDs uh, to encode uh, the hologram on the nano level via laser. And they were putting the DVDs over the body of the clients to successfully cure people of cancer and diabetes and other horrible conditions. And I offered her to actually create um, a kind of new paradigm for her group. And um, we created this um, um, project. And the essence of this project is um, based um, precisely upon the implication of the holographic principle that I formulated in 2012 in August, as I uh, described to you earlier. And the implication states that the, if uh, the universe uh, is entirely in its every matrix point, this means that every matrix point is not simply different from any other matrix point, but is unique. And if you have two copies of the same non-local, unique, weak matrix, you can transmit information uh, instantaneously, you see? So these two tokens or three tokens of the same unique, non-local, weak matrix constitutes uh, one systematic call. And uh, in fact, uh, I believe that our mind uh, functions in this way. So our eyes actually get information codes from objects, you see? They store them in us in our system of our brain. And then we actually are capable of reading information, you see, remotely and instantaneously from these objects by getting um, to them through quantum nullicality, through this information code stored in our brain. You see, the same way um, dogs, uh, <laughs> which mark their territory, you see? So they go and mark their territory. Why? Because this uh, substance, you see, they live around their territory, actually constitutes one and the same field with them, quantum field. 
hologram. It's not actually a field because it's the infinite number of fields, but it's one hologram. And the dog is capable of actually feeling enemy approaching to his territory. And other dogs are capable actually of feeling that this is not their territory, you see? And the other example is a striking example when monkeys were capable of learning the same skills as the other monkeys who were taught on the isolated island in the ocean some skills, you see? And um, these monkeys on the other island, um, you see, taught themselves the same skills. So this means that uh, all the monkeys in the world constitute the same monkey business, you see? And all humans in the world constitute the same human business, you see? So we cannot hide behind the walls from each other. Titanic for all of us. Right, right. So this is kind of a holographic um, uh, uh, upgrade of of dispersal and a holographic transmission of 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 health. Well, could you d d describe the mechanism of how health is distributed through the mini Tesla Psi generator? say a chip inside a pendant how how does that function so we have uh, three uh, products right so we have um, remote laser signal um, secondly we have digital uh, pharmacy which are digitized um, uh, holograms distributed as uh, white noise holographic signals, white noise um, inside, uh, encoded inside music, right? And uh, the third mm, product um, is uh, the chip, which is structured by laser on the nano level. And um, the laser, right, is a specific laser. It's not the regular laser, because everything in uh, the universe is a hologram. This means that we can uh, record and transmit only holographic information. And to be capable of uh, recording and transmit transmitting holographic information, we need to have devices that are capable of actually creating holographic signal. So for example, our bones are capable of uh, uh, creating uh, stem cells, right? Because our bones literally have the shape of laser tubes. So they have the specific um, geometrical shape, and this is the shape of the Kozarev mirror. And I call it Kozarev mirror, but I might even call it by with my name, because Kozarev, uh, he understood this principle, but the mirrors that he created uh, were not that uh, correct. I will show you. So his um, mirrors, right, uh, they were the sheets of uh, aluminum, right, uh, folded like this, right? So they were folded like this, like spiral, right? So um, on both sides of the so-called Kozarev mirror, they were openings. And because of that, I claim, he got uh, a lot of uh, negative results. So people were going into other dimensions. Uh, there were a lot of accidents linked to his group. Finally, the entire experiment was closed, precisely because the shape was not correct. So the shape should be precisely the shape of the egg. And um, he started his experiments, right, with uh, uh, controlling, uh, managing bioforms uh, bio via signals, right, holographic signals, uh, after he noticed that yeast placed in the mirror of the telescope in Crimea, where he was an astrophysicist, actually reacted to the cellulite, you see? So he noticed that the shape of the, uh, this, uh, um, you know, um, changed, uh, not straight shape of the mirror, but uh, um, uh, round kind of, cupular kind of shape of the mirror, actually by, is bioactive, you see? So they used, in uh, Novosibirsk, they used uh, these spirals. They put uh, aluminum, uh, sheets into kind of spiral of shape and they noticed by uh, activity of this geometrical shape but by activity was not always um, positive it was negative because i claim 
that the shape was not correct. So the proper shape of the Kuzarev mirror should be the egg. And the egg consists of two parts. First part is the pyramidal part. And the second part is a spherical part. Pyramids function as the natural psychotronic weapon. That is why no life actually exists in a pyramid. You know, birds and flies, butterflies and animals, they simply die in the pyramid. Why? Because uh, uh, let's say, let's take um, a bird, right? It has a heart. And uh, this uh, heart frequency gets amplified in the pyramid via resonance. And then the heart of the bird goes into resonance with the amplified frequency of this heart going back and forth in the pyramid. And then um, it goes into resonance and that's why its own amplitude gets actually enlarged. And the heart of the bird gets torn apart. And uh, I believe that uh, right now it's a very widespread um, uh, weapon uh, widely used by Mossad to the left and to the right. Uh, <laughs> it's my guess, by the way. I don't have any proof, but uh, looking at um, heart attacks of people to the left and to the right, I can just assume that it is used. It is a Soviet Union weapon, by the way. So the agent, KGB agent, uh, uh, had a briefcase with a generator, and this generator had uh, of exact frequency of your heart, right? And uh, the agent was tuning on the generator and your heart was going into the resonance with this uh, generator. And this increased the amplitude of your heart. And like, it was like that, right? But it was like this and like that. So it was torn apart by the amplified amplitude, right? So that's why pyramids were used as the mechanism of initiation. So the man who was going through the initiation rites was actually laying down the pyramid for the night or for longer period of time. And um, he was tested uh, for whether he would be able to actually neutralize, you see this mechanism, via the scale of wave uh, um, diffraction gratings inside his skull his bones and his chromosomes. And if he is an animal, right, and he cannot create uh, uh, this kind of uh, balanced uh, uh, diffraction, boomerang diffraction gratings, scalar waves, he would die. So this is how they determined whether you are human or you are simply an animal, a beast. And um, um, uh, anti-gravitational vehicle or any quantum leap device should consist of two parts. It, it should consist of the pyramid which amplifies the signal because the angle of um, uh, falling, uh, of falling angle, right, is equal to the ref uh, reflection um, angle, right? So, and here, because it is not straight, it is actually triangular. That's why it always um, goes sideways. So it always goes into more and more of the resonance. That's why when you go to pyramids, it's always uh, a lot of uh, echo and sound, everything is amplified. And uh, the spherical part of the egg gets every signal neutralized. That is reflected upon itself. And when it is reflected upon itself, you get this uh, scale wave and the diffraction greeting and you get refraction mechanism. The other ways of explaining it uh, is for example, um, uh, the other ways are other ancestral uh, tricks, okay? And one of the trick is the ball, right? The same thing, if you go on the spherical part, you will not be able to create any sound, right? So you need to, to go onto this, uh, on this uh, um, triangular pyramidal part, right? So you go like this. Right? <laughs> so you, you can go here, only here, to amplify the sound but it gets neutralized in the spherical part. And this is where the, the magic happens, okay? So 
Any quantum leap technology is based upon, I call it causative mirror. You might call it see the mirror because, because it's a causative mirror that they, they used in Novosibirsk in Russia. It's not correct, okay? So um, this um, causative, um, um, we will call it causative mirror for now, okay? This causative mirror, right, mirrors, they create the holographic um, signal, right? And when you create this holographic signal, then you can actually record and transmit the holographic information. And lasers, lasers that are used, are the lasers um, which have mirrors inside the laser. It's a special, special laser. It's not just any laser. But in fact, um, one of the... Um, People, uh, one of the scientists uh, who did this technology, he actually testified that even any laser will do. Because um, our biological matter, right, actually is a causative mirror itself. So it's actually, if you, if you, it's actually possible to use just biological material in any laser to uh, create the mechanism of transmitting uh, um, donor information upon the recipient information. So doing information um, function as a modulator of the holographic carrier signal. So the carrier signal is a holographic signal and uh, then you, you, we use modulation of any, um, uh, you know, any, any substance, right? Any uh, substance. And if you, we use the biological matter, then we don't have even to use any facilitators for the holographic signal, you see? But if we do not have, enough holographic, um, um, I would say, coherence in the matter, then we need to um, use some uh, holographic facilitate, like crystals. People use crystals for millennia, right? They use, uh, they use this shape, right? This shape for millennia. You see, Europe, Western Europe, right? Had pandemics of black plague, right? And in Russia, there was no black plague because every time black plague was approaching Russia, Russians were ringing the bells. You see? You see the bell? It doesn't ring here. The bells, because the bells are natural causative mirrors, you see? So they get um, any bacterial uh, uh, waveform, right? And um, because they create this kind of vibra vibration, right, the signal which, cover which is covering the big territory, right, this vibration as a holographic signal transmits any bacteria, right, to these uh, bells. And bacterial forms as waveforms get neutralized. So this is a fact, the scientific fact, that um, in Russia there was no black plague, okay? And... Um, the other example is uh, in uh, 1966, communists in Russia conducted experiments um, in uh, Russian Orthodox churches, and they found out that in Russian Orthodox churches, which have this cupola kind of causative mirror architecture, right? There are no viruses and bacteria, though crowds of in sick people, almost dying people, come there every day. And they conducted the same experiment in hospitals, maternity wards, and they found out that maternity wards, the hospitals, are so infected with the various kinds of horrible bacteria and viruses that it's impossible to get rid of them, even when the, with the uh, very heavy disinfectants. So the shape, even the shape of the architecture is very important, right? And um, the other experiment was conducted by the scientist Barchenka in um, approximately 1916, before the communist uh, Bolshevik revolution in Russia. He found out that um, these um, helmets of our ancestors, right, which look like um, cupula, uh, cupula, domes of the churches, right, and cupulas uh, of other buildings and cupula ceilings. And so these helmets actually enhance uh, psychic abilities uh, to incredible uh, degree. So um, our ancestors used this technology on the battlefield. So these uh, shapes of these helmets actually allowed our ancestors to telepathically communicate between each other. So this technology, you see, uses uh, the basic uh, um, principles of our reality. And these principles are used by human body.
we think because we have the skull like this and uh, the you know anunnaki you see so-called anunnaki aliens this is all also idiocy of uneducated people unfortunately so uh, in Archaim, right, which is a swastika city of our ancestors, uh, uh, of yours, yourself, because Ashkenazi is R1A1, right? So um, this uh, swastika city, uh, Archaim, in southern Europe, right, uh, um, have burials of very tall people, some of them three meters high. And in the museum, they have one of the skeletons with the uh, skull prolongated artificially so all of these crystal skulls with this prolongated um, shapes these are all our skulls not aliens not reptilians and according to the holographic uh, principle and quantum physics no evil actually can come to this dimension it is protected because uh, everything comes and goes from this dimension through the zero center of the wave crystal and in this wave crystal everything is balanced so only pure light pure soul can come to, to and back to this dimension and back out of this dimension right right now um let me ask you taking from that uh uh how could you describe how on-demand remote quantum rejuvenation is provided via the quantum internet? Well, um, we um, provide um, quantum um, via internet um, via laser, and um, it is uh, expensive. It, it, oh. it is the hours and hours of laser work. And especially oh I see oh and I see it's a special program in the in the elite uh, crowd right top elite it's known you see it was done by the Institute for you know uh, Arabs uh, very wealthy Arabs a long time ago so it's all known you see for to lower blood sugar remotely it's it's all was done and uh, all works and as I said in 1999 uh, uh, the Institute for National Security lowered uh, the blood sugar in the diabetic cuff at the distance of uh, 20 kilometers for the American Diabetic Association. And the same was actually repeated by Garyaev and Tishne in Canada in 2002. Though they didn't have the library of digitized by holograms and could not actually diagnose uh, holograms. So at the moment, you see, at the moment, uh, we offer this uh, service uh, only to exclusive uh, clients. We don't offer it on a, in mass, it's on a mass scale. I see, I see. So if oh. you want it, right, yeah. and want it really hard, we can, we can Yeah, yeah, I, I didn't know, know, know that. So, let, so let's talk about something that, that actually, uh, like the uh, Tesla glasses, is that something that, that, that you can talk about? Yeah. Now, uh, could you talk about the Tesla glasses? Uh, uh, you know, what's the science behind them? And what specific eye conditions it cures, but also it cures other conditions of the body because the eyes, as you mentioned, you know, are connected to the brain or connected to the rest of the body. Well, um, uh, Tesla glasses they use the same uh, technology. And so Tesla glasses are only called glasses, but in fact, uh, they are by computer, by quantum computer. And uh, they function and they help people only because they use the crystal of our eyes to actually um, transform any linear signal into the holographic signal. You see, so our crystal functions as a kind of... Uh, you see a very sophisticated piece of quantum physics uh, equipment, quantum leap equipment. And um, we get this signal, holographic signal, right? Which is modulated by specific uh, frequency that corresponds uh, to specific organ. And um, our iris um, seg is segmented. And um, oh, these glasses uh, target 
this um, specific area in the iris which is connected to a specific area in the brain. So why um, exciting, you see, um, some specific area of your brain, you can deal with any kind of uh, disease and any kind of condition, you see. You can actually grow muscles without going to the gym, it's scientifically proven, if you incite some um, specific area in your brain. So um, they have uh, specific uh, programs and every program is proven to target a specific area in your brain, which is responsible for specific uh, bodily organ. And uh, these glasses, uh, they are very widespread in Russia. So some of them are more widespread, some models, uh, some less spread. Uh, and they are used uh, by military and they are used by astronauts and they are used by mi military hospitals for a long time. So they're certified, licensed, and all the data is uh, heavily verified and uh, their success rate is uh, between 18 to 19 percent so it's a very high success rate and they guarantee with glasses that you actually will improve your eyesight significantly radically you see and um, they treat um, i would say as a protocol of rejuvenation not as a medical device they treat um, uh, various conditions from insomnia to depression, uh, being overweight, uh, underweight, uh, high blood pressure, diabetes, and uh, all the other kinds of things. Because um, they deal with the holographic signal thanks to the crystal of our eye, you see? That's why they are actually capable of delivering the information. So any kind of frequency technology will not have this kind of efficiency. So this is, a this is a brilliant idea, you see, brilliant invention that actually um, allows us uh, to deliver information to our brain, which cannot be harmful, you see, in virtue of definition, you see. So this information cannot be harmful because it is filtered by the crystal of our eye. So what, the, what this means? This means that every signal gets reflected upon itself, you see. So the eye crystal functions as a refraction mechanism so that you're getting your own unique information, you see, from the any, any external signal, you see? But this external signal, which is linear signal, is actually the signal as a modulator for the holographic signal which is created by our eye. This is, this is basically the... Um, mechanism and when this signal gets into the brain it gets um, the causative mirror going again you see because we think not because of the matter inside our skull we think because of the shape of our skull if you get uh, half of your skull off you see you will not be able to think clearly because uh, we need the shape of the skull you see precisely this shape you see the same way we need to live in the houses uh, which are shaped like this you see our ancestors actually lived in this kind of houses you see that's why they were so <laughs> so brilliant and so uh, brave and uh, actually created such a large country right and they were able to control large territories only by the thought process and um, only in Russia, only Russians preserve the ability of um, non-contact combat, meaning that uh, the operator just uh, does a pass with his hand and his enemies uh, fall. And that's why Mossad, by the way, is so successful and so advanced, because basically Russian by blood are one a one. So that, <laughs> that's why. And um, we can either lose this ability or we can actually enhance this ability and even um, develop this ability and this depends upon the uh, our um, adherence to this principle if we violate this principle we lose this ability you see and if we adhere to this principle we actually develop ourselves so these glasses is the one of the tricks that we can do you see to um, enhance enhance our uh, ability to receive uh, holographic information modulated um, via proper 
signals. Very interesting. Now, who, what would you say is the typical profile of someone who who uh, acquires a uh, mini Tesla Psi generator and the typical profile of a person who acquires the Tesla glasses. What kind of person acquires this in your experience? <laughs> well, um, uh, you see, right now, right now, right? We are standing at the brink of the genetic collapse. Of the of, at the brink of what? Genetic, genetic collapse. Genetic, genetic collapse. collapse. Because uh, eighty percent of food in the United States um, is GMO food, genetically ah. modified organisms, which you basically sterilize population. So we we will get uh, sterile plants, sterile animals, and sterile humans uh, in. Uh, the third uh, generation, right? And uh, I would say in five to seven years from now, there will be no healthy child born in the United States if they will not stop. So um, we, are, we are in the great danger. And uh, these people like Peter Thiel and um, Elon Musk and these uh, two guys uh, from Google, they don't understand that uh, Destroying human genome, they destroy the planet because we are actually linked, you see, to the planet. The zero center of our chromosomes coincide with the zero focus or center of our planet, you see. So why destroying humans? They actually destroy, destroy the planet. And um, according to the reciprocity law or boomerang law, they, they will get this uh, upon them, right? So our customers, right, my customers are mostly people who, uh, you know, who uh, awaken once, you see, they, they mm, truly enlightened, truly, truly illuminated, right? So they actually um, get to the point that they understand that um, so something should change radically, right? So quantum leap should happen. So these are people who... Uh, some of them uh, are rejected by conventional uh, medicine. Uh, some of them um, just lost trust, complete trust. And I myself, for example, uh, I um, got Lyme disease in Connecticut. So I lived in Connecticut for 21 years. So you might imagine I got it. I got it a few times. So, and um, I was rejected. First time I got treatment uh, simply because I, I had uh, acquaintance. Um, a Yale graduate, um, assistant pastor in the local congregational church. So I got treated, right? And second time I got it, I couldn't get treatment. And I um, eventually I paid uh, out of my pocket uh, um, $18,000, you see, but I was able to pay, right? So people uh, who cannot pay, they simply die. So East Coast, and the same as Canada, by the way, it's a pandemic zone of Lyme disease. It's a horrible disease. It uh, makes people crazy. They lose their memory. They lose their eyesight. Uh, they, they lose ability to think, cognitive abilities. They get disabled. They cannot walk. They're in constant pain. It's a, I would say it's more horrible than AIDS <laughs> in some sense because it's more pain, more pain and more suffering. And um, it is uh, artificially induced. It is a bacteriological weapon. It was released at a specific date in, and in specific place. And uh, right now, it's basically, it's a red zone of uh, suffering and uh, pain and death. And uh, those people who got, got through this kind of uh, a deal, right, uh, they or their parents or their children, of course, they would not trust uh, the system, right? And uh, people are trying uh, to create an alternative uh, system. And uh, I would say they're successful. I would say that we already won. Nobody would be able to stop quantum leap as of today. So I would say that it will happen and we will be able to get rid of uh, cyber concentration camp of global artificial intellect. So this is over. So I can congratulate you. We, we did it. Right. So the 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 uh, the uh, quantum leap is really an evolutionary technology to uh, bridge over 
what is an evolutionary cul-de-sac, which would be the GMO. Yes, we are able actually to restore back, you see, to restore the ruined genomes. And at the moment, the first and most important task of the United Nations should be the creation of the banks of wave matrices or holograms for plants, animals, and humans. So this should be the Noah Ark, you see, that should be created right now. Because at some point in time, right, there will be no way back. Right? So the critical mass uh, will become so uh, crucial, right? That uh, healthy child will become a treasure, right? So when um, Russia will close um, its borders and will, uh, with the uh, cyborgs, that I, I believe will be Russian, first Russian create, will create cyborgs, and we will protect, uh, protect our borders with cyborgs, and that's it. And, um, America, so, and um, America and the West will be transformed into the waste, wasteland. And Peter Thiel and Elon Musk will depart on the artificial ship, right? And they will not understand that everything that they created will actually get back on them. So we should not actually allow this um, to happen. We should now, create mechanisms of um, um, dissolving this um, issue. Yeah. Now, now let me ask you something. Uh, there's a there's an aspect of the mini uh, Tesla side generator where you can provide a photograph, say four to six years old or some other age. And so that's programmed into the device. Now, if you don't do that, uh, do you still get the same benefit from the device? Or, or can, can, can the side generator still program you back to your original blueprint, even if you don't give it a photograph? Uh, well, we have uh, three basic uh, models, right? The first model is uh, basic, mm -hmm. mini Tesla, psychotronic generator. And I call it mini Tesla because uh, I intend to produce later big Tesla, okay? So that's why you can call it Tesla generator, or mini Tesla generator. So the first model is a basic generator. And basic generator has a generic hologram, healthy human hologram encoded by laser on the nano level. And the chip is of electric quality. And electric whole charge, they hold the electronic crystalline grid, right? And when they are bombarded by some external signal, they actually release upon you this um, electronic uh, crystalline structure. For example, uh, wax candles in the churches, they function the same way. You see, they're electric. That's why they work. You can actually imprint uh, the food matrix into the wax of the candle. And frankincense and the mirrors, all these kind of um, resins, right? Uh, natural resins, sacred resins, right? They function on the same principle. And um, this uh, basic uh, mini Tesla generator has the generic of human bio, healthy human bio hologram encoded uh, on the nano level by the laser, which is actually capable of uh, recording and transmitting holographic information because of the specific shape, the specific structure of the device, right? And the second model is the Super Mini Tesla Psychotronic Generator. Super Mini Tesla Psychotronic Generator has uh, the individual uh, biohologram encoded by the laser. And this individual biohologram is recorded by the laser from the childhood photograph. It can be navel, blood, or it can be placenta. So, or any kind of other biological, by the way, material of the human. And if you don't have um, your childhood photograph or you were born with some uh, uh, in, in born disease, right, um, hereditary disease, um, we can actually diagnose the disease in the hologram, the digitized hologram, and we can correct it, you see? And um, you can uh, get your uh, biohologram uh, wholesome, uh, on the chip, 
and the second um, version of this uh, model is um, the model with the casing with the one side of the casing which is encoded by the laser with some bioelectronic uh, drug or e-drug as i call it so we for example of uh, at the moment uh, immune um, system um, rejuvenation uh, bioelectronic drug encoded uh, via the laser into the casing one side of the casing also we offer rna encoded uh, into the casing via the laser and the third basic model is the so-called ultra mini tesla psychotronic generator which is the same as the super tesla but it has the add-on of the drug encoded into the casing so this is the difference and uh, at the moment we intend to issue different models with different kind of um, bioelectronic uh, drugs encoded into the casing for immune system, for endocrine system, for digestive system, for respiratory cardiovascular system. So we are actually intending to release um, within the next um, month with New Year, the whole um, a series of the mini tesla psychotronic generators for every kind of condition so that people actually can choose a specific device that actually address um, addresses their specific uh, problem so in other words in other words you see if you don't have uh, the uh, photograph uh, you can actually um, get tested uh, uh, as a human, right, in our clinic, we can record uh, biohologram uh, from you, can uh, uh, diagnose it after we digitize it, uh, or you can use the generic psychotronic generator, or you basically can um, just go with a specific um, generator, which will be a super Tesla generator with some drug without the photograph. So this is a, these are your options. Right, right. And and what is your 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 vision of of the world ten years from now as far as quantum leap? How will will the world will everybody be have a Tesla generator? With, how will there be a new way of trans of transmitting this how what is your vision for the future will will all of humanity have access to to this well uh, you see uh, the point is um, that um, so-called quantum leap right um, it was the way of how our ancestors lived you see so our ancestors were this giant unlucky right uh, pre anti diluvian civilization who had all these quantum technologies available. So this already worked before, you see, we, we already passed through that stage, you see. So we simply, um, first of all, need to collect all those things that we lost, you see. We need to live in houses, which are cupular houses, you see. Even our cups that we drink, you see, created by our ancestors because the, you need this shape. To, to have your food from this shape, not from rectangular shape, you see? So we need to collect all this lost um, uh, knowledge, you see? Of all these bells, you see, and of upular ceilings and all the singing cups, they are birthed. So our ancestors lived in a magical world. Everything was magical, everything was good, everything, everything was actually bringing health and prosperity and uh, kindness and uh, happiness you see happiness so i see the world uh, basically making quantum leap so i uh, see the um, uh, confederation of the self-sufficient sovereign countries and each country would actually get access to quantum leap technology so this means the access to free energy so we need free energy okay so every every country gets uh, free energy right uh, and um, this means self-sufficiency so this means that so-called new world order right the global governance right 
will be the confederation of free, sovereign, self-sufficient nations. And every nation will have um, a matrix city, which will have this access to free energy. And um, this uh, matrix cities will uh, cover the territory around them, uh, providing uh, longevity. And uh, you see these people like uh, Ray Kurzweil, he doesn't understand that we are already mortal. So he wants immortality, but we are already mortal, right? So this means that um, he simply does monkey business because monkeys are not immortal, okay? So um, the species is immortal, but not the, every individual monkey. So um, um, we will build these um, cities, right? And um, these cities have, will have matrix zones, which um, people will enter freely. So everybody can enter this matrix zone, right, and live there. And uh, in this matrix zone, uh, people will be able to live till 200 years old. And um, people will live in these big families. They, they should, we should restore the family because in families, people have uh, real, um, uh, <laughs> all this kind of socialism, communism, that are kind of in uh, the West derogatory world. But in the family, people don't charge each other for shelter and food. So people will restore, they should restore this clan kind of uh, uh, big families, extended families. They should live in extended families inside this matrix zone, uh, taking care of each other. And um, then uh, around uh, this matrix cities and matrix zones, there will be uh, still uh, uh, humans who, uh, who would, um, do their own business uh, without uh, any kind of um, uh, violation of their rights, you see? And when we get to this point when uh, the energy will be free, then um, there will be no uh, sense of um, caste society, you see? No, no meaning of caste society, you see? Because caste society is based on lack, lack of resources. And when you get unlimited uh, access to resources, then uh, you will value individual things, unique things, not things that cost for, like a bag that costs twenty thousand dollars or, or uh, dress that costs uh, hundred thousand or the car that costs costs uh, half a million, right? You right. will value individual unique things. You see, so right. this, this is the point uh, which we should reach. And when we get um, when we get uh, free energy, we get to this point. By the way, our ancestors, giants, right? Anunnaki giants. Anunnaki, by the way, is from Anna. Anna is the she because matriarchy was before patriarchy. So Anna is the marker of the matriarchy, and there is the capital, uh, ancient capital of our our capital in uh, Anatolia, present day Turkey, called Ani. Ani. So Ani, Ana, Anastasia, Anastasia, which is Ana, Anastas, Asia, Asia, Anastasia. It's uh, basically just from Ana, Machar, Machar. So I mean, Anunnaki, we Machar, simply that's it. So the world was not civilized by reptilians or Anunnaki, reptilian Anunnaki. The world was civilized by Russian Baba and Deva, Devi, Devi and Baba. Baba is a woman and Devi is a virgin. So they civilized um, the world. They um, tamed animals, you see, horse and cow and the hen and geese, you see, and the sheep. They were tamed by um, women and even falcons were tamed by women. That's why their symbol was the falcon, griffon, griffon, sphinx, which was um, snake, cow, uh, falconess and lioness together. It's Gargona. Argona or Garuda, you see, this, this was, this are Anunnaki. Very good, very, very good. I, I'd like to uh, just jump over and, and ask, uh, I don't know, would you like to say a few uh, words um, uh, before we, we say goodbye to Irene? Um, I represent MindTech Enterprises and we are very happy to be able to distribute uh, the products of Wave right. Genome. And we also have uh, 
uh, ultimate Tesla generator and uh, Tesla glasses. This is all by way of genome. So we are very happy that we can uh, distribute this technology. Uh, so I would like to invite everybody on mindtechenterprises.com to read the, the website. And um, maybe I, I would like to uh, say something interesting about our website, if it's possible. Yeah, thank you so much, Madeleine, and thank you, Alfred, to do to overload of mailing boxes and a unique visitors of 6,495 visitors a day. We have decided to implement a new system that is a form of a live chat. And we are online mostly 24 hours a day to answer our clients' uh, questions. So they don't have to wait on, because uh, as I told you before, uh, as three days ago, we had over, four days ago, we have over 35,000 visitors, you know, and the mailbox is going to be, it's uh, overloaded. So this new system really helped us to increase our, Sales and really help us to get the close to our customers and make a really close relationship with them. We know them even by name. So close relationship is this system. So I would really advise all of customers or, and all of our viewers right now to try to test this new live chat system. Actually, oh, okay. And 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 what's the and what's the website that they should go to? It is to get the. Quantum Leap Technology. It is mindtechenterprises.com to get the okay. live chat, exactly. Distributed by Babe Genome. Yeah. Okay, thank, th th thank you. Um, uh, so, M Martin, is there anything that, that you would like to uh, say? Yeah, you can also get all the information via our app. It's now available on Android and just uh, search MindTech Trade and you will find it. And uh, also I want to give a sneak peek to the iPhone app. Okay. Yeah, and this is how it looks like if it's, yeah. <laughs> yeah, so that's okay. uh, working on right now. Oh, and, oh uh, good, so, you, so pe people can, uh, people who are iPhone users what exactly should they do? Uh, yeah, they can um, uh, go online uh, on mindtechenterprises.com okay. and order. Uh, now, the ultimate Tesla generator has a special price. We lower mm -hmm. it uh, with 500 uh, for introduction price. So it's very okay. good to order Tesla glasses. Yeah. Uh, because that's uh, if you have a family environment, you can use the Tesla glasses also. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, so, but so say uh, in uh, two months, uh, it. Uh, we hope it will be ready. <laughs> okay. Good. Well, thank you very much. Um, well, yeah. I. Uh, yeah. Uh, I, I want to thank um, everyone, uh, most especially. I would like to thank uh, Dr. Irene uh, Caesar, who um, uh, is has has taken uh, time out of a very busy schedule today. She's scheduled to travel uh, to join us. She's an extraordinary individual who is changing our world through her brilliance and through our ability to integrate over large eons of history and integrate the human body into the holographic universe of which we are a part. And I salute you, Dr. Caesar, and thank you very much for your work, as do, I am sure, all of our viewers. So thank you very much for joining us today. Thank you so much, Irene. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Alfred and Irene. Okay.